What's up everybody? Tindo here with me. I've got that girl Hannah and today is Super Bowl Sunday. So if you guys are super into football and watch the Super Bowl, I hope your team won. I hope you had a good time. We're not super into it ourselves. So we're going to use this day that everybody stays indoors watching TV to go to the thrift store. So we're in a part of town we don't get to very much, way up north Phoenix in Scottsdale, where some of the fancier Goodwills are. So I'm hoping personally to go home with some fancy stuff. switch the side of the store these lock boxes were on they were way on the other side look at all these pez omg there's three bags of them i don't think i've seen just a bag of pez at the thrift in them maybe ever it's a bunch of 360 games here it's like three copies of gears of war yeah there's three bags of pez here gotta check those out aquaman They're all pretty new. All right, thank you so much. Every single one of those Pez was something brand new that's in the store right now, so nothing I need. Let's check the regular toys. Bunch of, bunch of bags. It looks like they've restocked recently, so that's good. But can we find something we gotta go home with? Like this spider copter. Okay, the regular media section now. Since there were games in the lockbox, I'm not expecting there to be a lot here, but hold on. Hey, I haven't bought one of these yet. Let's get it. Six bucks isn't bad. These National Geographic VHS, yep, that's pretty cool. It's half tempting, but all of that is on Disney Plus now, so it's not entirely necessary. There's just no video games over here at all, so this might be all we're leaving with. Here's a complete inbox Guitar Hero Live for Xbox One. I'm not spending 30 on it, but interesting to see that here. And then what is this? What'd you find? There's a lot of really cute ceramic things here, like this little kitty teapot. Um, there's like this Japanese one over here that's really pretty, but it's got a broken tip on it. It's ripped. This is, this is interesting to me at least. It's a copper pot. Pick that up, it's super heavy. What is it, is it like a kettle teapot? Yeah. Wow. You can actually put this on your stove, it's super heavy. Oh, I see, yeah, wow. It's really pretty. So if you've been watching the channel for the last couple of weeks, I have been on a dish like craze. So I'm just really interested in what dishes are, what they sell for, and if that's something that I can get into a little bit. So I'm doing a little bit of research while I'm here at the Goodwill, because this Goodwill has a ton of these really cool ceramic pieces, like these little, little glasses here. These are super interesting. I am gonna be doing some Googling on that real quick. I've done a few Google's searches, Google's searches, I've done a few Google searches on some of this stuff already. Um, like this little cat teapot. It's $5, it sells for about 15. Um, I think it's really cute, but I think for $4, that's a little bit of a risk at the moment. But look, look at those. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here a minute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right out the gate, these red dishes here. They're by Avon, they are a red crystal set, but um, right out the gate, they are so expensive. Like that one's $9 and this one is gonna be six. So I just don't feel like that's gonna be worth it at all anyway, but I did look it up anyway, just to see what it does go for. And I mean, they, for a full set, it's like 30 bucks for those. Um, and, but so, a lot of the pieces go from anywhere like five to $10. So I'm not really gonna mess with that at all. But I still have a lot of looking to do. We're spending a lot of time in this Goodwill today just looking at the bottoms of every dish, Googling stuff, and trying to learn what we need to know to find, you know, what's worth reselling. Because there's lots of stuff that's free to look at, like, you know, that looks nice. But, you know, for all we know at this point, at the beginning of learning about something new, 
this could all be worthless. And that is, that is the hard part about this kind of thing. But Hannah and I do absorb new information really well. And it'll be funny four or five months from now, we'll look back and be like, yeah, I remember when we thought that was expensive. You know, just, that's how it goes when you learn something new. But I do want to show you this. It's like a, a, a travel knife set. I don't know. It's probably in one of those goofy kits, but it's got all these handmade knives. They're like hand riveted together. I mean, I'm definitely not that super into knives, but it's just really interesting. You find anything? These are really cool, but I don't know anything about them yet. <laughs> Somebody has them listed asking for $50 for a set of them, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get it. So. That is the that is the problem. Have you looked at what's sold? Or I'm have, looking at it right now, but none of them have sold. Yeah. So I can't tell. Yep, it's a it's a huge learning curve, but I, I get kind of excited about that. You know, it, the first time I ever really felt like I mastered something new, in probably 2009, 2010, I got my first camera that had manual controls and. I didn't know what aperture and shutter speed and ISO and uh, bit depth and all these other terminologies that go with cameras were. I didn't understand any of it, but probably right at the beginning of 2010, I noticed myself having a command of the terminology. And then, you know, by 2012, I felt like I could take a camera apart and put it back together. And, you know, that set off a cycle in me personally of really wanting to learn new skill sets and things like that. Not that I'm saying I want to learn dishes as a skill set. What is this? so much random stuff here i'm just saying that you know this might go well if we if we can make just as much money off of dishes as we do clothes we'll have doubled our money that'd be cool it might not be dishes though we might give dishes up in a month try something else but for the next couple weeks we're gonna we're gonna be looking at a lot of glassware that's all i'm saying so hunker down look at this that is beautiful Oh my gosh can we keep it <laughs> this is this is also the problem you're gonna end up with like dishes like i do with yes. video games you're don't just gonna, even let me touch it i can't you're just it. gonna keep everything i mean this is not old but it is beautiful i need some i need some spaguder out of there it's already yeah. 348 like right you can't do that. so you can't resell that but we were looking at these plates last night and you know there'll be one from this set though that will go for 50 just not this one <laughs> you know just guess it depends on what's on them these are really pretty. It's so pretty. All right, here's something extra, extra dangerous. You can't buy these, okay? Oh my God, where are they? <laughs> One kitty. These, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these are really high quality. You might have to look these up. Look at the kitty plate. What if I sell what? them, can I buy them? Didn't Dolores Umbridge and Harry Potter have cat plates on the wall? She did, she loved cats. <laughs> <laughs> this one's my favorite. Oh, they're so fancy. Uh, what does it say on the back? It says, I can't even read that font. Rico presents the sophisticated ladies collection, Chelsea, from an original painting by Aldo Fazio. Plate number 1483 AP, limited to 21, uh, what does it say, firing days? Eighth issue, copyrighted 1985. What now? I have to look those up. You got, no, you need to just buy them and put them on the wall. And look, that those star plates you have have a whole set. There's so many of them here. This is this was someone's wedding set. Oh, is that 100%. what it is? Yeah. But I found them listed for sixty dollars for a set. But like. Well, that would cost more than that to get out of here with them. Right? No. All right, I got a gun. Hannah got nothing, but we did spend more time in that Goodwill than we normally spend on a whole episode, just standing around Googling dishes, trying to learn a little bit. That's all today's really about. We're just gonna casually hit up some more thrift stores, try to learn something. First of all, there's an airplane. It's gonna be hard to see, but look at this blimp. <laughs> I guess because it's Super Bowl Sunday, there's just a lot going on. I don't know, but let's go on to the next store. All right, another Goodwill. And the last time that I was here, I bought a giant blue rubber duck. So if we could at least repeat that, that'd be great. Pretty much the only thing worth talking about in the media section was Battlefront, but it's ripped. However, I do quite like Tarantino's Jackie Brown, probably my favorite Tarantino film. So this Goodwill seems to be really behind on restocking. There's just not much here at all. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything here, but let's go catch up with Hannah. Okay, I just have dishes on the brain today. So I really just wanna check the dishes section. Um, I might fly by the jeans, but probably won't take too long through that. This 
this is pretty, but I'm gonna do some digging, see what we can find. That's kind of heavy. I don't know anything about these though, but I feel like this is something that could be worth something, but I don't really know how to look it up. Um, I'm gonna do some digging. This one's missing a lid, but it's really pretty. Bake, serve in store stoneware by Capri. <laughs> you got some cobs? <laughs> we are not quitting, but to go ahead and use a nice little football metaphor, we're gonna take a timeout. You couldn't see that, kind of timeout. And uh, there's the Goodwill we just came out of. There's a Panda Express on that corner and we're hungry. So let's go eat something. And also that was in no way actually a metaphor. It was just a football thing. I don't know. A plate to go for me, please. Um, half and half. All right, let's do this. I'm so hungry. We were gonna eat before we even started thrifting today, but we were like, oh, let's go to a couple first. Big mistake, should have ate first. All right, lunch was good. Went, went ahead and got a large drink just so I could fill it with water because I continue to forget my water bottle. But we're gonna go to a Goodwill that's nearby that I'm pretty excited about. We haven't been to it in a long time. I know we had to have made it to this Goodwill on the channel at some point or another, but I really can't remember. But it's a Goodwill I used to have a lot of luck with finding like Nerf guns and stuff back in the day before we had the channel. So fingers crossed that goes well. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to continue Goodwilling after that because we've got somewhere else to be. So hopefully that goes well. But I mean, even if we don't end up with much else, we have learned a lot today about glasses. And uh, so stick around to the end. We'll talk about what we got. And then uh, we'll also talk a little bit about what we learned about dishes and stuff today. So let's go to that next one. Yay. All right, we are at the last Goodwill. Hopefully this Goodwill will bring us good fortune, but first we have to check our fortune. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not like that? Why'd you break it all? Now I can't, oh no, oh no. Okay. Call a friend. Your voice will bring a smile. Well, that doesn't have anything Aww. to do with thrifting. All right. <laughs> No, open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. <laughs> I'm so yucky now. <laughs> There's a Wii in the lockbox and a Wii board. Some Disney Infinity and some Skylanders and some Barbies. All right, I think, now I think, I'm not sure, but maybe you should just forget what I said. Maybe we haven't been here on the channel because I know for a fact I've never been in this media section, which means I've never been here looking for video games. So this is probably a new Goodwill for the channel. We actually call it the Elephant Goodwill, and I'll show you why when we leave. Here's a PC game made by Sierra. Three Madden games, two Madden games and a FIFA game. Call of Duty, Ninja Turtles, not seen a lot. Here's a few more games. NCAA Madden All Sports, 100% sports. Sims 2. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. Please be, please be in here. If I open this case and it's not in there, let's go. All right. I found one video game that I don't have. Flips Twisted World. I don't know nothing about it, but it's Wii and I want it. And it was in the book section, so I almost didn't find it. And then even when I picked it up, it felt light, so I didn't think it was going to be in there, but it is. Poop emoji, why does that exist? Okay. I'm at the toys. Here's a PC Assassin's Creed. That's interesting. Check out this Taz. Is it an alarm clock or what? Well, here's another game tucked in the toys, but I already have that. I just, I have to show you. There's nothing to say. Fight. $25 Xbox, $20 Wii, both too high for me. Sorry I took a peek through the jeans, there was nothing. It's been pretty bad for jeans today, but that's okay. Um, I found some interesting stuff in the home decor section, like this guy. It like actually has keys. 
Oh, that has no keyhole. Everything I pick up, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. It's World Market. It's like the third time that's happened here today. I have expected that one to be World Market too. That's why I picked it up. I'm Sir Shake a lot. What? <laughs> Whatever. Wait. I shiver and quake. I'm Sir Shake a lot. Spin that around. Whenever I drink one, I shiver and quake. What? I can't read this top bit. Dad gum it. It's okay. I don't need to peel the Goodwill sticker off. I don't care that much. <laughs> I really like amber glass. I think it's really pretty. I don't know if it has a very high resale though, so not gonna dive into it too much unless I find something that's just like, oh my God, that's beautiful. So we'll see. This parfait glasses are really pretty. Just kind of imagine having this beautiful like hot fudge sundae in it. I like ice cream too much. Speaking of ice cream. Still got tea in it. That's funny. Um, don't need to get poisoned, so we'll leave that there, but it's pretty. There's something else over there that had that same um, imp impression, I guess, on the bottom of it. So it's the same brand. Those are weird. Anything? No. Learning some stuff. Like, look at these cats. <laughs> that kind of looks like our cats. <laughs> it kind of does. It's made in Japan. It's like a little tea set. It's really pretty. Um, I mean, it's not the color scheme I would want, but I can see the appeal of it. TI-83. How much? Three four done. This is 25 bucks? Yeah, we've, we've sold about a dozen of these last week, so. Are you, uh, are you ready for this? Look. I don't think these are Definitely. Well, that's just damn weird. There is a GameCube game in the lockbox. And I don't have that one specifically, so I think I'm gonna get it. At first I thought I was only gonna leave there with one game, but I ended up finding an Xbox game buried underneath some DVDs. And then on my second look at the lockbox, there was a hockey game. Now, didn't buy a ton today, but I'm not particularly mad about it. Like I said several times a day already, today was more of a fact-finding mission. We learned a lot about dishes, a lot about what we could find, and anything that we thought was kind of in our realm of resell to uh, purchase price ratio the prices were really high so we didn't we didn't buy anything what we're going to do is come back on half off saturday to some of these goodwills and buy some of these dish sets and stuff we think we can actually flip for half the price because everything almost every dish was five or ten dollars yeah it was kind of a lot even, yeah even the stuff that was like a little bit cheaper it like didn't sell for as much so it seemed like Everything was just a little bit out of reach. Yeah, but we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get home. But uh, yeah, let's see that. Let's go home. Let's call it quits for now. So look at this. <laughs> That's why we call it the Elephant Goodwill. All right, everybody, we're back in the game room and we're gonna recap a little bit of what we were doing today and kind of what we think we figured out and then we'll jump into talking about everything that we did buy. So let's talk about dishes for a minute. We're not becoming a dish channel. I mean, a lot of you have already noticed Hannah buying a lot of dishes. Most of it, I would say, has just been for you because you like them so much. And she dug so far down into the dish rabbit hole that she now thinks that we should try to resell them. And I'm completely on board. So we really just goofed off a bunch today looking at the bottoms of dishes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I did. I feel like it was a productive day, though. I feel like I kind of like got my feet wet, figured out some things to look for and some things not to look for and just kind of some of the things that are that are gonna be a little bit of an obstacle moving forward but then things I'm very optimistic about so yeah. well I'm trying to think of this is hard to explain but there is a feeling inside of me that's invoked standing at the disc section trying to look at them analytically and I did mention during one of the clips that you probably just watched that 
it was kind of like, you know, when I started learning cameras and all the aspects, but I didn't really nail it. And I can't think of what it is that I feel, but there's something else we've learned in the last couple of years that really makes me feel this way. Because you've got old dishes, new dishes, you've got all the materials they could be made out of, you've got whatever era they could be from, and it's just this big rabbit hole. And we're not going to, to the best of my knowledge, start making instructional videos on dishes or anything, but uh, it, it's just another section of the thrift store that uh, we might try to make a few bucks off of now that we're doing this more full time than we were before. But I guess tell us the biggest thing you learned today or the biggest, I, I, I can't imagine, but tell us something you learned today. I mean, I, I was a little overwhelmed today because of the amount of information that I don't know, honestly, about dishes. I, I But I was really excited to be to, to be more informed about it because like there are things that I think would sell and then there's things that actually do sell. Right. And the, the divide of like trying to figure out what, where, where I can live yeah. is, was the main thing I wanted to figure out today. But I found a lot of things that I thought would resell. So it was kind of optimistic. I was optimistic to see like there are options. There are things that I can yeah. find, which is really great. So you pretty much spent the day at the store looking at something and looking on eBay and seeing if that sold recently. Yeah. That's kind of what you did. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff I was picking up had sold. And mm -hmm. like I found the exact same thing on eBay for, you know, X amount of dollars. Um, the thing that made me hesitate on a lot of it was the the Goodwill prices were a little bit higher than... I would have liked to spend not knowing what I'm doing. So right, right. I feel like if if I was really good at this and like seasoned, I'd be like, oh, this is five dollars. That's okay. I can sell it for thirty. Right. No big deal, and that'll sell quickly, and I'll feel a lot more comfortable buying it. Whereas now I'm like, that sells. That's five dollars. What if I don't sell it? That's five dollars I've lost. Yeah. Well, something that we learned very early on, and a lot a lot of people reselling will learn as well, is you have two choices. You can either sell, and this is just kind of common sense really, but you can sell at volume and sell cheaper, or you can be very selective and buy a certain number of items and sell them for much more expensive, right? So we, when we resell clothing, we're really picky and we sell pretty high dollar items. And for our schedule and for what we were doing before, that works. Now we're sitting here going, well, we do have a little more time. We don't have to be so picky. I think that's what I learned. When I would look at the prices of the dishes you brought up, I'm like, well, that's okay if we're selling 50 of these a week. Yeah, 100%. You know? Whereas with jeans, we sell six or seven pairs a week and we make our living, essentially, you know, because we're yeah. selling pretty high in jeans sometimes. So... That the biggest worry I have moving forward is like if we do get head over heels into dishes, we're gonna have to come up with some storage room for them because all our closet space in the house is taken up with clothing resells. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I I do feel I agree that there is money in dishes, and but I think it's gonna be more quantity than quality yeah. because a lot of it is gonna be novelty. Like someone's mm. gonna be like, oh, that Japanese tea set is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life, whereas someone's going to be like, yeah, yeah it's tea set, who cares? Right. So, well, I will say, too, some of the scouring we've done uh, for, you know, like prominent dish resellers and stuff, we've kind of found out that, like, we thought at first, oh, well, maybe we'll just, we're really good at putting together complete sets. I'm really good at putting together complete inbox consoles from pieces. And so we thought, oh, well, maybe we could try to sell sets, but it looks to me like almost everyone that has sets sells them in parts. Yeah, and, yeah. And almost consistently we've found that to be true. And this is just kind of nonsense really, probably to a lot of you, but it, it is really interesting to me to just kind of start at the beginning and put these pieces together because we've got a lot to learn if we want to do it. Uh, you know, but don't hold us to anything. Five months from now, two weeks from now, we might not be selling dishes. But right now, it's something we're going to give a stab. And uh, hopefully, you're down to kind of sit along for the journey while we try it out. It'll be no large portion of our videos. But like um, tomorrow, we're going to leave and go shoot a video uh, several towns over. We're going to go on a bit of a road trip. And uh, who knows what the dishes are going to look like there, but I imagine you're going to look at them, right? 100%. I'm very curious to see what the price difference will be between... I mean, the, the, the city we're going to, Tucson, mm -hmm. is not 
by any means a small town, but it's much smaller than Phoenix is. Yeah. So I feel like our Goodwills price things a little bit higher because they're, it, they know that more people are going to see them and someone eventually is going to pay $5 right. for something that should be 25 cents. So I, I wonder if Tucson's going to be that way. It's going to be cheaper. We're going to find out. But also, speaking of future events, I just want to throw this out before we jump into talking about what we did buy today. Our podcast is tomorrow. So if you're watching this video today, if you're hearing me talk at this moment, we're podcasting tomorrow. And I definitely want you to sit it, sit it in your calendar, your phone calendar. I don't know. Do something. Make sure that you're back here tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time because... We're, it's our second podcast. We got our first one out of the way, and we're ready to go into it full force. And our plan for every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time for the rest of our lives, doing something crazy live and putting it on camera. So we'll be, let's just say next week, while live podcasting and talking about current events, talking about channel stuff, and answering you guys' questions, we'll also be, and this is all I'm going to say, we'll be whipping something up in the kitchen. So come back. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time for that. Now, let's. Uh, that was just a short plug. Let's jump into all the stuff that we bought at the thrift store. I guess since we were just on dishes, go ahead and talk about what you did end up picking up at the thrift store. Yeah, so I, I did a lot of looking and a lot of like picking up things, putting it down, picking it back up, putting it down because I don't really know what that profit margin I want to stick at right now is. But I did end up fighting two plates that I just kind of couldn't live without. And I was like, you know what? Go show the camera. Even if I decide, even if they don't sell, I don't care. I want to keep them. So they are these two very heavy. They are very heavy. <laughs> so like they look hand potted, like there's ceramic. And they're and not natural. perfect. Yeah. They're, they're not quite perfect circles. Yeah, they're just like really naturally made um, stone plates, which I thought, you know, it, I do know that those are kind of popular right now amongst the millennial community of <laughs> somewhat. Uh, so I thought maybe they were worth a stab. If nothing else, I'll keep them. Yeah. Well, there might be a lot of that coming. We might just fail at this dish thing and have a really nice collection of dishes. Well, we bought some nonsense. I guess we'll do this first. There is a TI-83 in here. And we have just sold a ton of these recently. Some and, staples in there, randomly. Yeah, well, there's, <laughs> so I was going to say, there's another bunch of stuff in this bag. Uh, but no corrosion. It's good to go. And we have an extra cover for it. So, you know, we'll, we'll get a few bucks out of that. I wish, to be honest with you, I wish I could just find dozens of those a day. We'd be set for life because they, they sell about as soon as we post them. A box of staples. Very nice. I have no idea what this is. An empty metal box. And then a, a crap, couple crap calculators. And there's like a, I don't know, there's a microfiber cloth in here. Very nice. Oh, it's a screen protector kit for like an iPhone 4. <laughs> and then, what is this? Indiglo, it's a nightlight. It's like a book nightlight. Mm -hmm. Okay, nonsense. But it was three bucks and we got a TI 83 plus. So, that was all the nonsense, and I bought one of these PlayStation, I don't know what you call it, PlayStation Move VR guns. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really have a use for it now, but I, I have some of the wands, and I want to get some of those VR type games and some of that other stuff. So I'm just kind of buying this to put it away for later for some future gaming content. Now, I did buy some video games. It was only three, I think. I feel like I bought a fourth, but I don't remember now. But do comment below and let me know if you know anything about these games, if I should play them. I'm betting there's nothing crazy playable here. But I did pick up uh, NHL Blitz 2002. One of, the, one of the ones in that line that I didn't have for the GameCube. Always happy to pick up another GameCube game. This is... Well, hello there! <laughs> Hi, baby! <laughs> have you come to say hello? Uh, I'm always glad to pick up some GameCube games. And then, I can't imagine this is playable, but... Patrick and I have been filming for our bad video game series. We're back to playing bad video games regularly, and they'll be posted soon. And this looks like a candidate right here. Monster Garage with Jesse James on the cover. Look at that. I can't imagine it's good, but uh, maybe it is. It looks like you can actually kind of drive around Grand Theft Auto style, so maybe I'll like it. And then Flip's Twisted World. I don't know if this is an educational game or if it's just some straight platforming. Pants, you're so in the way. Look at that. Ooh, you like that, don't you? All right, so that's all the games that we got. What's your favorite thing you got today? 
um, this particular plate. All right. Well, my favorite thing, I guess, if I was going to actually play something I got here, it'd be Flip's Twisted World. It might just be some good platforming. I don't know. But that is all, guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Even though it was not the most eventful day of thrifting, I still had fun. And that's kind of the point. I, you know, I will say back when we started this channel, I tried a little too hard to make sure that we got good stuff and probably needlessly spent too much money back then. But I have realized that my personal joy that I get out of these videos is more so making them and making an, an adventure out of finding the stuff that we want. So... Uh, that seems to have been translating well. I seem to really get great responses from that. So I don't feel bad, kind of like I used to when we started for coming home with some nonsense. But as a guy who's going for complete collections, this is all stuff I need. So it is not a lost battle. So thanks for hanging out with us. And like I said, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Time podcast craziness. We're going to try to just top it every time until we're just doing madness. And it's almost like we're making jackass movies. I don't know. <laughs> but do come back and hang out with us then. And then also before you go, guys... We have a Discord where all three of us are members and we chat all the time. Pants likes to post pictures of his uh, Meow Mix in the food <laughs> section on the Discord. So go join it. The link is below. It's a good time over there. And then also before you go, do me the biggest favor you could do me and the biggest favor you could do Pants. Pants will be the heckinest happiest boy there is. The heckinest happiest chonker on the entirety of the internet if you just hit that subscribe button. So subscribe for us so we can continue on to 1,300 because, like, as of an hour ago, we hit 1,200 subs. Pants, you've got hair all over me. He's so fluffy right now. Why are you shedding all your hair at this exact moment? <laughs> I'm going to have to sweep now. Yeah, subscribe, guys. Please, pretty please. Pants will be so heckin' happy if you do. And then, before you go, guys, make sure to hit that notification bell so that... Gosh, Pants, so much hair. Hit that notification bell so that when we go live, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern... You'll get a notification. You can come back and hang out with us then. And until then, guys, peace out.